not just between the company and the bookkeeper, not just between the company and the cost accountant, not just between the company and the income tax authorities, but when in all these information are avail uh, available digitally, the ordinary public, discerning public, builds trust. And when trust gets built about companies, the image of a country which invites investments from abroad, image of a country which has to have its due diligence aligning with the world, are all falling in place. And therefore, this is what the opportunity that the digitization gives us. I've just given you a across-the-board big opportunity which exists, but there are several which I will count as uh, points for me to explain today. Aniket was very clear in saying that your footprint is all over this country. When I spoke about the financial literacy, it is because of this digitization helps you. Not everybody is going to be near your chapter office. And therefore, when you can rightly boast about having 168 branches all across country, in five regional councils which are present, and in 17,000 postal codes area, you have somebody registered, and the country has only 19,000 postal codes, 19,100 postal code areas, you, you are present in 17,000 of them. So I think for financial literacy, and for course contents to be given to these students who are present all over the country, you are in a position to better utilize digital access to the students and therefore be uh, readily available for them. It's also heartening to, to know that the ICAI has started financial and tax literacy campaigns. I understand you're doing it all through the country. Uh, and this is going to help a lot of people in spite of all that is available in public domain. A lot of people still get carried away by misinformation campaigns. And when you do, when you as Chartered Accountancy Council, uh, Institution run a financial literacy and tax literacy campaign, it certainly has a lot of credibility.